Activation of the heart and ECG. In limb lead 2, the vector is directed from the negative electrode, right arm, toward the positive electrode, left lower limb, at an angle of plus 60 degrees. The electrical activity originates in SA node. The impulse spreads simultaneously leftward towards the left atrium and inferiorly towards the AV node with a mean P wave axis of 60 degrees, so there is upright P wave in lead 2. Then the impulse travels slowly through AV node, then rapidly through bundle of his, then the bundle branches. The first area of the ventricular muscle to be activated is the interventricular septum. The septum depolarizes from left to right. This vector is directed slightly away from the positive electrode of limb lead 2, thus causes small negative deflection in ECG called Q wave. In both ventricles, the overall activation pattern begins on septal surfaces and sweeps down toward the apex. This vector is directed towards the positive electrode of lead 2, thus causes a very tall positive deflection called R wave in the ECG. Next the free wall of the ventricles depolarizes from the endocardial to the epicardial surfaces. The mean vector is pointing toward the left arm, away from the positive electrode of lead 2, thus the ECG returns to baseline. As the left ventricular muscle mass is more than the right ventricle, the right ventricle contributes little to normal QRS complexes. Finally, the last region to depolarize is posterobasal area of the left ventricle, the resultant vector produces a slight negative deflection called S wave of the QRS complex. The ventricular repolarization proceeds from epicardium towards the endocardium, thus current flows from endocardial region to epicardium. This results in rising phase of the T wave. As endocardial region starts to repolarize, a second set of currents flow from mid-myocardial region to endocardial cells and it causes the descending limb of T-wave. 